Hey developer and welcome to another our Cold World video. For today's video we will explain you how to install and configure the KMP Paginator bundle in a Symfony 4 project. Nowadays every project requires the pagination feature, for convenience sake. No one wants to see a single view with thousands of registers in a web project without pagination. That's why it is one of the first items in the to-do list of a new project. Although pagination isn't included in the Symfony 4 project by default, you can add it through the KNP Paginator Bundle project. In order to install this package in your Symfony 4 application, you need to run the shown composer command in your terminal as long as you are located in the project directory. This will start the download and installation of the Paginator package. It is not necessary to enable the bundle in the kernel as we are working with Symfony 4. The paginator requires a default configuration. In previously Symfony versions, this configuration was added to the config.jml file. However, in Symfony 4, you will need to create a single file for this configuration, namely paginator.jml. You can retrieve the default configuration from the article in a website as example, or create your own configuration. It's totally up to you. Now that the paginator is available in our project, we can now use it. In this tutorial, we are working with an empty project that has no controllers or views, so we will create a basic default controller that will return as response a tweak view with the paginator. For our controller, we will create a simple action, namely index, that will display a list of appointments. We have already the entity, so we can just simply query the table. In Symfony 4, we will inject directly the paginator as argument in the action, thanks to the auto-wire feature. Note that the controller needs to extend the abstract controller class of Symfony. We will paginate the query with 5 items per view. Finally, we will render the index.html.tweak view sending the paginator instance as argument. Now we will create the tweak view that will render our paginator. The structure is very basic and doesn't extend any other template, so that's why we are adding the entire HTML5 structure. Using the KMP paginator render function of tweak, we will render the paginator list easily. Note that you can customize the HTML of the list in the JML file. Once you have the file, you will need to register the index root. In our case, we already have it, so we will just uncomment it. In this way, when we access the index directory of our project in the browser, we will see our controller as response. In this way, you have now a fully functional paginator component in our Symfony 4 project. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.